Call to Confession The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Let us admit our sins before God. Prayer of Confession Let us pray. God of love and mercy, be with us this day. We have faltered in our service to you. We create divisions between various people. We judge before we listen. We condemn before we make any attempt to understand. Our lives are in turmoil, and we confess that we have turned away from you. It is fear and anger that too often surrounds us and our actions become based on those fears and anger. Slow us down, Lord. Give us hearts overflowing with grace and compassion. Help us to mirror Jesus who loved and healed others who were rejected by polite society. Remind us that we are called to be strong voices of hope for those who feel alienated and lost. We are called to be a home to strangers, to quench thirst, and to give nourishment, to welcome and bring words of hope. Forgive us when we have forgotten these things. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Declaration of Assurance of God's Love and Grace from Psalms 124, Romans 12. Christ calls each of us into lives of service and hope. He equips us for these ministries and places us on the pathways of peace. Rejoice! You are called by God's Son and blessed by Him. Amen. Passing of the Peace In acknowledgement of Christ's salvation, let us share the peace of Christ with each other. Perhaps a phone call, text, or email later to a member you haven't talked to in a while or a friend or family member. The peace of Christ be with you. Prayer of Illumination. Let us pray. Guide us, O God, by your word and Holy Spirit, that in your light we may see light, in your truth find freedom, and in your will discover peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Old Testament Scripture Listen for the word of God from Exodus 3, 1 15 Moses was keeping the flock of his father-in-law Jethro, the priest of Midian. He led his flock beyond the wilderness and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. There, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a flame of fire out of a bush. He looked, and the bush was blazing, yet it was not consumed. Then Moses said, I must turn aside and look at this great sight and see why the bush is not burned up. When the Lord saw that he had turned aside the sea, God, God called to him out of the bush, Moses, Moses, and he said, Here I am. Then he said, Come no closer, remove the sandals from your feet, for the place on which you are standing is holy ground. He said further, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face for he was afraid to look at God. 
Then the Lord said, I have observed the misery of my people who are in Egypt. I have heard their cry on account of their taskmasters. Indeed, I know their sufferings, and I have come down to deliver them from the Egyptians and to bring them up out of that land to a good and broad land, a land flowing with milk and honey, to the country of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, the Perissites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites. The cry of the Israelites has now come to me. I have also seen how the Egyptians oppress them. So come, I will send you to Pharaoh to bring my people, the Israelites, out of Egypt. But Moses said to God, Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and bring the Israelites out of Egypt? He said, I will be with you, and this shall be the sign for you that it is I who sent you. When you have brought the people out of Egypt, you shall worship worship God on this mountain. But Moses said to God, If I come to the Israelites and say to them, The God of your ancestors has sent me to you, and they ask me, What is his name? What shall I say to them? God said to Moses, I am who I am. He said further, Thus you shall say to the Israelites, I am has sent me to you. God also said to Moses, Thus you shall say to the Israelites, The Lord, the God of your ancestors, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, has sent me to you. This is my name forever. And this is my title for all generations. This is the word of the Lord.